Welcome back to the Zips Coaching Carousel Dynasty, whatever the hell this is. Um, likely not our final season here at the Akron Zips. It will be the final episode of this season. However, we are not currently ranked. I believe we're what, six and one, our only loss being to number one Ohio State. Obviously though, I wouldn't anticipate a one loss MAC team to be ranked, but if we can continue where we're at really, um, I feel like if we can somehow go 11 and one, we should be ranked at the end of the season. And honest to God, maybe we're looking at a um, New Year's Six Bowl. I don't know, we're six and one right now. We are bowl eligible no matter what, but we are looking to A, make the MAC championship game, Okay, B, making a New Year's Six, I, okay, not gonna happen. We lose to Western Kentucky, the Hilltoppers beat us 33 to 14, which is not good. Um, we got some recruits going our way, but yeah, that loss sucks. I wasn't anticipating it, considering we were playing so well to start the season, and Western Kentucky, who's not that great, we lose to, and then we lose to Kent State. Um, great. So all of our insurance in making the MAC championship game is now gone. We now have a loss just like Miami of Ohio does. Um, again, more recruits coming on over to the team. But now we're six and three after back-to-back -back losses. Um, and yeah, there goes our lead in the MAC. So we look at the MAC East. We're six and three, but the conference record is really all that matters. Five and one. We are four and one. Is Miami of Ohio? Of course, we're gonna have that tiebreaker over them since we did beat them earlier on this season. But we gotta keep winning football games. Next up for us, um, right next up for Miami of Ohio is Bowling Green. Then they got Kent State and Buffalo and Ball State. Four really bad teams. If we're being honest with ourselves, they're not playing the toughest schedule from here on out. And we lose to Eastern Michigan. Wow. Twenty-three to forty-two. East Michigan beats us. Yeah, three straight L's is not good. We're now six and four. Marcus Gaston, though, by the way, five-star recruit, 78 overall, has now committed to the team, which is crazy. We pull in the five-star who was trying to go to Georgia. I mean, that's incredible for our squad, and really that's one of the main reasons I want to stick around next season. Okay, Miami of Ohio won. They are six and one in the conference. We're five and two. It's looking unlikely that we can win the MAC, but we're gonna bounce back. We're gonna beat the Chippewas of Central Michigan, 38 to 28 in week 13. So now the Zips are seven and four, and we just need to win our last game against Toledo and hope and hope that Miami of Ohio loses. Never mind, it's not gonna go our way. We're gonna lose to the Toledo Rockets, 31 to 38. The Akron Zips will finish seven and five after starting season six and one, which is horrible. We end the season one and four. Conference record six and three, which is all right, but Miami of Ohio will be heading on over to the MAC championship game. And for us, of course, that collapse at the end, at the end of the season is just atrocious. Our best win by far, the best, best two weeks, the, the victory over 10 and two Northern Illinois, 31 to 17, and the 38, 31 victory over Miami of Ohio. We have beat both of the teams playing in the MAC championship game. By the way, Donovan Edwards from uh, Michigan wins the Heisman, and there is our bowl game. We're gonna be taking on the Mountain West runner-ups in the San Jose State Spartans. Interesting matchup for us, as of course, we did not get to play our conference championship game because we did not qualify, but we're gonna be playing in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. It is the second bowl game of the year. Um, and yeah, it should be a good one. We get to play on the blue Boise State field, Akron and San Jose State. I don't imagine these two teams have ever played before, but maybe they have. I don't know. By the way, Northern Illinois beats Miami of Ohio in the MAC championship game at 24 to 16 for NIU over Miami of Ohio. And there is San Jose State's loss in the Mountain West championship game, losing to the Air Force. And that's why they are here taking on the Akron Zips. The winner will be the champions of the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. And no matter what you can say about this season for the Akron Zips, and by the way, San Jose State with a tremendous passing offense coming into this game. Whatever you want to say about the Akron Zips, we have put ourselves in a position to play for a championship at the end of the year, given it is the damn potato championship. But still, we are in a spot where we get to play a very good football team in San Jose State, a team that made their conference championship game. And really for us, Akron, we were not planning to be in this spot. We thought we'd win like three games at the most. And here we are in a bowl game taking on San Jose State. It should be a fun one here from Albertson's Stadium in Boise, Idaho. The Akron Zips, the seven win Akron Zips taking on the nine win San Jose. State Spartans. And real quick before the game starts, you know why we haven't been playing good football? Yeah, it's likely this. Upper arm fracture ended DJ Irons' season. That's why we've been playing with a damn running back at quarterback in Cam Wiley. The reason he is starting over our third string is because he's very elusive and we've just been really running the football last couple weeks. I, I think Irons has been hurt for about six weeks, so I think the Western Kentucky loss, he did play, and after that, he did get injured, so this has really been our offense. It's been Cam Wiley running the option, which at times can work. The guy is super fast. He's a running back right there. He rips one off for a gain of 16, but let's be honest with ourselves, it makes us super one-dimensional. Wiley here gonna pitch the last second. He gets it to Knight, and oh my goodness, Knight's off to the races. Oh, this is gonna be a touchdown for the Akron Zips. 
It's a huge score for Jalen Knight, the receiver on the option pitch. And the Zips have gone up 7 to nothing here against San Jose State as they're going to get the football back on a second and seven. Wiley pitches. Oh my goodness, Brank. What, what are we doing? He doesn't even, he doesn't catch the option pitch. Similar to the Cardinals on Christmas. What are we doing? San Jose State gets the football. They score. It's 7-7. Seven to seven. Wiley now looking to throw. Never mind. He's going to run. And he's going to be sacked. Down goes Cam Wiley. San Jose State brings him down. Still 7-7 seven to seven after punts from both squads. Wiley will get it back on a first and 10 read option. This is where he excels right there. Wiley going to rip one off for a 13 and a new set of downs for Akron. First and 10. Wiley out the gun looking to throw. Scrambling to his right. Cam Wiley now going to run. He's got space upfield. Cam Wiley. Big hit but still a gain of 13. And just like that in the first quarter the Akron Zips have already ran for 100 yards and it's been mostly off the efforts of Cam Wiley. Oh my goodness. That's why we don't throw the football. Holy hell that was horrible. Cam Wiley airmails one. It's picked off by San Jose State. Trey Jenkins with the interception and the Spartans go up 14-7 with Akron getting the football back on a third and seven. Wiley going to throw on the run. He will find his receiver for the first down. Alex Adams will have a gain of nine and a new set of downs here for the Zips. Second and 11 for Wiley dropping back now looking to run. Cam Wiley going to throw backwards. Okay, it's going to be a run technically and we'll take it. Bryson Yarmo, the tight end, is going to have a gain of 12 with a run technically and now Wiley's got him on a third and 11 looking to throw to his right going for grinds. He'll completely miss him. We do have another quarterback on roster, but this is what I guess is supposed to work best for us, and I guess it's going to. Wiley's going to somehow find the first down. Runs straight into his offensive lineman, stays on his feet, picks up the first down. 50 seconds to go in the half. Third and 10, we bring him the backup quarterback right there. We need a completion, and there goes Ryan Janikowski. It's going to be the sophomore out of Florida, and now a third and 10. We bring Wiley back in. Why? I don't know. Why did I? Oh, God. Oh, it's picked off by San Jose State. I said, why not? Yeah, bring in the guy who can't throw a football. Uh, SJSU going to be at 14-7. Wiley in the first half, 2 for 8 with 7 yards passing. Luckily, though, here in this third quarter, San Jose State turns it over in their own territory, and this is where Wiley excels. Running the read option, running the football, it'll be a gain of 8, and now a second and 2 here for the Akron Zips. Wiley on a speed option will keep, and he will pick up the first down. Cam Wiley's down to the 5 with a gain of 4 right there. Here comes the first and goal. Wiley from out the gun. Handoff, it'll be the running back, John Zell Norris. We haven't seen much out of him, considering we basically have two running backs in the backfield at all time but John Zell Norrells gets in 14 to 14 is now our score in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl but San Jose State retakes the lead at 21 14 so Cam Wiley back with the football here on a read option he'll fumble oh no the drive was going well up until that point Wiley fumbles, San Jose State gets it back, but luckily the Akron defense gets a stop once more. So Wiley back with the football on a second and eight. He will run and take off. He'll have the first down and a gain of 11. Zippy loves it. But here comes the other quarterback in Janikowski. We're trying to throw the football. He will find Shockey Jacques Louis. The Pittsburgh transfer Jacques Louis all the way to the house on a third and 12. It's a 70 yard touchdown for the Akron Zips. Janikowski comes in and delivers. It's a 21-21 game, but San Jose State again scores. So 28-21, we've officially gone to only Janikowski with only 96 seconds remaining left in this game, but you'll find Jalen Knight for a gain of 13 yards, second and 10, empty gun. Janikowski looking to throw over the middle. He will find his receiver right there. It will be Jameel Williamson for 13, and Akron is working the football down the field really well with Janikowski, a guy who will likely be the starter in three years' time, given will we still be at Akron for him? Probably not, but He'll find Williams right there on the dump off pass. Big completion to Anthony Williams. The run for the catch is huge because Williams will pick up the first down. 40 seconds to go. Second and four. Janikowski to his right. We'll find Knight again. Jalen Knight for 14 yards. It's a first and goal for Akron. Handoff going to Norrells and John Zell. Norrells gets nothing. San Jose State all over it. It's now a second and goal out the gun. Janikowski looking to throw. Scrambling to his right. Still looking. Janikowski always brought down. Third and goal now for Ryan Janikowski and the Akron Zips. He'll go out the gun. Look to throw over the top to Grimes. Incomplete. Fourth and goal. The famous Idaho Potato Bowl is on the line. Here comes Janikowski looking to throw. Going for Tony Grimes. Incomplete, you know, Grimes just can't catch a football half the time. 
and the San Jose State Spartans are your famous Idaho Potato Bowl champions. Akron comes up a little bit short of their, what, second bowl victory in school history. I, I mean, it's unfortunate. It it's, it's really tough losing a game like this, you know. Tyler Nevins is going to win player of the game. He had 110 rushing yards and two touchdowns for the Spartans. But, you know, the famous Idaho Potato Bowl means everything to me. This is a huge game, and it's just, you know, it's it's going to be real tough coming back from this one. I'm just kidding. I mean, it happens. Again, we were not supposed to be in this spot. It was a pleasant surprise we made a bowl game this season. It was a pleasant surprise that we got to where we got. Um, I doubt this is the final game we're going to play with Akron. I highly doubt it. Unless we do get a head coaching job, I'm probably going to stay at Akron. We'll see if we do get an upgrade I guess position with an offensive coordinating position, but we'll see. Akron loses to San Jose State. Your final score, 28 to 21. Again, SJSU are your famous Idaho Potato Bowl champs. We'll see what the future does hold for Akron. We'll be back in a couple days to show you guys the off season and what does progress next out of this coaching carousel of career. So folks, thank y'all for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down up below for more. Make sure you like if you are enjoying the series so far. Give us a thing up for watching and Mamba forever.